Welcome juniors. So if you're seeing this video, uh, I'm Derek Smith, your physics teacher this year. So I'm getting it caught up. If you're watching this on a YouTube video, make sure you look at the watching guide below. There's so if you need to skip around later on and figure out where stuff's at, like how do I do stuff, look at the watching guide below and the links down there provided. That will help you skip around easier for your benefit for your benefit. So this is a recap of what we did. Uh, the first day, we did the warm-up, we did a first day survey, we enrolled into Moodle, we signed up for Remind, I promise not to spam you constantly, I'll only for if I need to get a hold of you. We did a Flipgrid activity so I can get to know you, that will be private, only I will see it. We're going to read through the syllabus in small groups, hopefully, I can put you guys in groups. You're going to take a practice quiz assessment it's a quiz but it's an assessment over the syllabus it's e you can do as many times as you want until you get a hundred percent so you start off the year on a good note I'm gonna show you guys how to organize all the content you're gonna get maybe using bookmarks for resources and stuff on your own that could benefit not only for school but in, in the real world and then that's pretty much it for the first day hopefully you got this binder of materials pickup. This will be really beneficial. These are a lot of the handouts that I spent some time and had in binders. If you didn't get them, it's not the end of the world. We'll figure out how to get these to you. Um, but yeah, these were ready for, for a pickup as well. So email me with questions. Show up, to, show up to the learning. I can better support you that way. It's harder for me to support you remotely. And I want to get to know you guys. All right, so... That's the intro. So this time on my website, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to find. I'm going to show you how to bookmark all these pages in a later video. But what I'm going to do now is to show you how to get to your, your homework and a lot of your classwork is going to be. This is going to be almost something that's called Moodle. So if you go right here, I am at dsmithscience.com backslash physics. So if you go to dsmithscience.com, you click on physics, it's going to take you right here. And so what we're going to click on is Moodle is where your homework is going to be. It's going to be your in-class work. It's a bunch of it's a lear another learning management system. Unfortunately, guys, when you click on this, it's going to ask you for your um, lunch number and your password. Just like anything else, I'm sorry. I can't get around that. And here's the issue, guys. I don't know what it's going to look like for you. Mine's already enrolled. I, can't, I can view as students, so I can see what you guys see, but it's not exact here. So if you go to my courses, or you may have to enroll, this is where it's gonna get tricky for me. So you wanna look for this course and maybe even search this course here, CEC D Smith Science, and hopefully that'll populate for you. And uh, there's only one class to join, so that makes it easier. The enrollment key, so it's gonna ask for an enrollment key, is D Smith. Again, the enrollment key is D Smith. I do apologize, I don't know, if you may wanna go for my courses, you may want to search for the course. I don't know what it's going to look like on your end. So I do apologize for that. So if you are not in person getting this information, I will try to come up with a better uh, explanation for you guys. So in this portion of the video, I'll be showing you how to use Remind, sign up for it efficiently. So know what class you're in. And you're going to everybody, no matter what class you're in, you're going to text 81010. Just text that, and then use your class code, whichever class code that is. Look here, pause it if you need to, and type in your uh, class code. And it's going to ask you some follow-up questions. Please answer those. The birthday one, it's just making sure you're above 14 or something, because that's what Remind requires. That's the only reason they're doing that. You can just put your birth year and make up the rest of it. I don't care. Actually, you, I'd encourage you to do that. Make it up. But just make sure it's uh, your correct birth year so it says that you're over the age you are. That's the only reason it asked that because I thought that was invasive. So I know a lot of you guys have used Flipgrid before. I'm going to try to register as a class. If you just type in Flipgrid in Google, and you just click on the main button, flipgrid.com here. 
So you're going to get a, a code for our class. So every class is going to have one. Hopefully, I'll make it easier for it to share. I don't know what exactly it's going to look like. So I'm going to be showing all the codes now. So depending on what class you're in, you would put that code in. So if I'm in Blue AM2, I would use this code here. So I would type that in, put it in, and then I would hit the next button. And then you would just join with Google. So it says, then make sure it's the right class, D Smith Blue AM2. You would join with your Google and remember me, and you are done. So in this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to make bookmarks, how to bookmark to make folders, super important in this virtual learning. So we have all these tabs that we want to do. This physics page that we know about, dsmithscience.com, go to the physics tab. All This is where you want to be every day. There's a link to it. Uh, you can click through it through Schoology. It's not super efficient. To save you time, I'm going to show you how to do that. First way, the little star at the top. There's a star at the top right. That is how you uh, bookmark something. So I know that we could hit, uh, always, or you could hit, uh, I think it's Control D on your Chromebook. If you have something else, well, you have different hotkeys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up all the pages, your equation page, your warm up, either gold or blue, and your student resources, and Moodle. Um, right? So Moodle, we've hopefully already know how to log into, and you just put in your username and password, and it'll pop up there. So I have all these pages right now. None of them are bookmarked if you look at my um, here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. So I just hit the, the button right there. And you can rename it whatever you want. You can decide which folder you want it in. I'm going to put the bookmark bar. And you can go to more. You can get all kinds of customizable ways to do it. I'll show you. There's various ways you can do that. You can also, like I said, hit Control D as well. That's your equation page. Definitely want to bookmark that one. So I. This is, I think this was Moodle, so I'm going to rename it. And notice that says bookmarks bar there. So I'm going to, and that should show up, and it does show up on the top of that bar now. And now I'm just, this is the student resources page. So I'm going to bookmark that as well. And that's, and this is the warm up. That's where you're going to go every day. That's, that was today's warm up. So we bookmarked this. But notice how quickly your bookmark tab is almost overloaded. So I have all of those bookmarked on the bottom where I'm scrolling right now. Moodle, equation page, I can move those around. I can do all kinds of stuff. So now I'm gonna, that's another way to get to your bookmarks. Bookmark manager. And there's also hotkeys if you like hotkeys. So what I'm going to do, what I would recommend, is just get a new folder. You can label it science, you can label it D. Smith, you can label it physics. I don't care. Um, I think I label it, label it science on mine. So then, really neat, see how it shows up there? I can just drag stuff into that on the top bar there. So I'm just dragging that in there, right? So then all of those are in that one folder right there. So, right? So that's kind of nice. So then what I can do, I'm shutting all these windows. When you first come into class, right? What you can do, you have that bookmarked, and you just go to, and you can right click on it, open all four. I wouldn't do new windows, just new tabs. So if you hit open all four, boom, 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 boom. So that happens, see how it saved you clicks, that saved you time? That is super essential in this virtual learning. So when you guys are done, you should have these five things in that one folder. This page, dsmithscience.com backslash physics, physics, the equation page, the warm up student resources, and Moodle. So pause this if you need to. It should be good. Go! Hit it! Oh no! Are you serious? No way. Are you serious? 